Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have x times of x times of x plus x equals to 222 and we solve this problem for the values of x. Okay, so here first we write this equation into the standard form. So we write it as this is x is multiplied by 3 times. So we write it as x cubed plus this is x equals to 222. Okay, so uh, after that here we need uh, to focus in the right hand side and in the right hand side we have 222. Uh, so now here first we find the prime factors of 222. Okay, so we write the prime factors by this division method. So here I can just solve this cubic equation without uh, using the synthetic division. Here you can see that I can just easily make the factors of this cubic equation. So you don't, you don't need to apply the synthetic division, which is a long process. So here first we divide this term by 2 and you get 2 ones are 2, 2 ones are 2 and 2 ones are 2. So now here we divide it by 3. So we have 3 threes are 9. We carry 2 and 3 sevens are 21. So we divide it by 37 and 37 ones are 37. Okay, so here uh, we write our 222 as 37 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2. Okay, so further you see here when you multiply 3 times 2 becomes 6 and we write this 37 as 36 plus 1 and multiplied by 6 okay so after that we write this 36 as 6 square plus 1 multiplied by 6 in the left hand side we have 222 okay so further we uh, need more simplification so we multiply the 6 on both of these terms it will be written as 6 cubed multiplied by 6 sorry this 6 cubed plus 6 because 6 times of 6 square is 6, 6 cube and plus 6 times of 1 is 6. It means that we write 222 as in this form. So now we replace this 222 as 6 cubed plus 6. Okay, so that our above equation is written as in this form x cube plus x equals to 6 cubed plus 6. So further we make the pair of cubic term and the other term as well. So we need to move these two terms in the left hand side. It will be written as x cubed minus 6 cubed. We move this 6 cube here and we make the pair of cubic terms plus this is x and this is minus 6 equals to 0. So after this step here, uh, we need the nice cubic formula. So you know about this formula. If we have a cube minus b cube, it is equals to a minus b times of uh, a square plus ab plus b square. Here we just apply this cubic formula. So you see that the value of a is x, the value of b is 6. Uh, I can just write it here. We have our a equals to x and b equals to 6. So when you replace these two values in the right hand side of this equation, so you get the value of this term. Okay. So uh, we write this equation as uh, in this form. So we apply these two values on the right hand side, then you get the output of this equation. Okay. So you get First we have a minus b, a is x minus b is 6 into a square, a is x square plus again a is x and b is 6 and plus b square, b is 6 square. So you have this is plus x minus 6, so we write it here plus x minus 6 and this whole equation equals to 0. Okay. So after this step we have uh, uh, x minus 6 times of uh, x square plus 6x plus the 6 square equals to 36 and plus x minus 6 equals to 0. Okay. 
so uh, after this step you see here we have x minus 6 be the common term so we take it common x minus 6 and the remaining terms are x square plus 6x plus 36 and we move x minus 6 and you get plus 1 equals to 0 okay so uh, before move forward we need some simplification and we have x minus 6 times of x square plus 6x plus 36 plus 1 equals to 37 and this whole equals to 0 okay so after that we need to break this equation into the two parts so that our first equation will becomes x minus 6 equals to 0 and the second case is we write x square plus 6x plus 37 equals to 0. So after that we just convert the above equation into two cases. So these are two cases. So now we write here we move this minus 6 to the right hand side and we get the first real root of the given equation is x equals to 6. Similarly, we need to solve this quadratic equation and uh, uh, we have this is x square plus 6x plus 37 equals to 0. We just copy down the above equation and so in order to solve this equation, we need to use the quadratic formula. So first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to 6 and c equals to 37. So you know about uh, quadratic formula it is stated as x equals minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a this is the our quadratic formula and now here we need to put the values of a b and c in this formula and it is written as minus b the value of b is 6 plus minus square root of b square b is 6 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 37 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a equals to 1 so further you see here we have this is minus 6 plus minus square root of 6 square equals to 36 minus 4 times of 37 uh, is equals to 148 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 is 2. Okay, so further you see here uh, we need to subtract these two values and it will be written as minus 6 plus minus square root of minus 112 and it is divided by 2. When you subtract these two values you get minus 112. So after that uh, we need to focus on this radical term and it will be written as minus 6 plus minus we write it as 112 into square root of minus 1 divided by 2. So here we again write this 112 as minus 6 plus minus we write 112 as 16 times of 7. We know that 16 times of 7 becomes 112 and minus 1 square root equals to iota and it is divided by 2. So further we need uh, to simplify um, uh, more simplification and we are, we write it as minus 6 and we break this fraction. Minus 6 divided by 2 plus minus we know that square root of 16 becomes 4 into square root of 7 divided by 2 into iota. So this is 2 3s are 6, 2 2s are 4. Okay, so we have x is equals to minus 3 plus minus 2 times of square root of 7 into iota. These are the other two complex roots of the given equation and it's x equals to 6 be the one real solution. And this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.